are one of my favorite songs. Give it away. So everyone stand up, stretch out, wiggle about. Feeling good, good, good in a crazy way. God's love changed me more than I can say. Can't keep this in, gotta let it out. Gonna tell the whole world that your love is spinning me round and round. Yeah, it's turning me upside down. I can't believe it when you love me more than I can contain. Gonna turn around and give you. Wonderful singing. Let's review what we learned yesterday with our Spotlight VBS. Shh. Let's watch our Spotlight. You can read about today's totally true Bible adventure in, you guessed it, the Bible. Just look in the book of John, chapter 4. One day, Jesus and his friends were traveling together. Jesus' friends went into town for food. But Jesus was tired, so he sat down by a well to wait. Oh. Just then, a Samaritan woman came to the well for water. Uh-oh, this could be trouble. Uh-oh. Back then, Samaritans and Jewish people didn't always get along. The Samaritans were just too different. Yeah, I don't want to get out of here. So the Samaritan woman was surprised when Jesus talked to her. This never happened. Jesus asked the woman for a drink of water. She looked around to see if he was really talking to her. Who, me? You're talking to me? Then Jesus said something even more surprising. Wow. Huh? He said that he could give people living water. Eternal water. The woman was confused. What could Jesus mean? What kind of water can do that? Ah. Is it the kind of water we get out of the faucet? Or from a bottle of water? Or is it water from a bucket like you get from a well? Not. Aha! Suddenly the woman understood. Aha! Jesus is the living water. He's the one who can give us eternal life. When we believe in Jesus, he'll be our best friend here on earth. And later, we can live with him forever. It doesn't matter who you are or how different you are from other people. Jesus loves you. Always remember, even though you're different, Jesus loves you. Just love.
loves you. Fern taught us that even when you're even though you're different, Jesus loves you. Our next Bible buddy will teach us even when you don't understand, Jesus loves you. Let's meet today's Bible buddy. As you discovered that Jesus' love is one of a kind, a Milton, a spectacular star no more. I'll give you all the dirt on what outrageous and extraordinary creatures we are. You can find my family all along the eastern side of North America. Well, you can if you're looking underground. Like most moles, I can't see too well. That might make it hard to figure out what's what as I burrow and tunnel underground. That's why God gave me a special star on my snout. The star helps me find and identify food, and it does a good job, if I do say so myself. Star-nosed moles can identify and eat up to 12 items per second. Uh, you probably should try that at home. My special star reaches out and helps me in the dark. Did you know that you can be a star too? When you see someone whose life is dark and difficult, someone who's trying to figure out why bad things happen, or someone who's hurting, you can be a star when you reach out with Jesus' love. In the Bible book of Luke, chapter 6, verse 31, Jesus told his friends, Do to others as you would like them to do to you. Look around you right now. God has given you a whole room full of stars who can shine Jesus' love whenever life is dark. Do your problems make you feel like a weird animal? Trust me, even when you don't understand, Jesus loves you. When things don't make sense, moles like Milton have a special way to figure it out. Remember, their star nose? Milton can help us remember that even when you don't understand, Jesus loves you. Let's practice that. Even when you don't understand, Jesus loves you. Sometimes we get mixed up and confused about what happens in life. Maybe friends are mean, or you hear something scary on the TV. That's when I'm glad to know that even when I don't understand, Jesus loves you. Tuesday, our Bible memory verse was, For we are God's mas masterpiece. He has created us anew in Christ Jesus. Milton also reminded us of today's Bible verse. Jesus told his friends, Do to others as you would like them to do in you. That means when we treat, treat other people the way we want to be treated, that's how Jesus spreads his love to everyone. So let's do some motions to help us remember this. Everyone stand up. Reach out. Give it a little shake. Wake your bodies up. When we say do to others as you would like them to, you're going to point to other people. So do to others as you would like them to do to you. So do to others as you would like them to do to you. Everyone continue to stand up, reach out, find your space. How does
does it feel? When someone gives you a helping hand, how does it feel? When someone leaves the time to get to know you, how does it feel? Feels good, how does it feel? Feels good, how does it feel? When someone gives you a second chance, how does it feel? How does it feel when someone gives you a helping hand? How does it feel when someone takes the time to get to know you? How does it feel? Feels good. How does it feel? Feels good. How does it feel when someone gives you a second chance? How does it feel? Interesting. What do you have today? This I have brought the venom of a laughing lion. Laughing lion? Yep. Yeah. That sounds like a weird animal. What is it? Well, it's a lion. And he laughs a lot. I see. Is that venom dangerous? No, oh, no, of course. In fact, it is the cure for all sicknesses. You heard that laughter is the best medicine? I have heard that. So what does this venom of the laughing lion work? Well, I have it all in my handy little spray bottle. All I have to do is just spray it on somebody and they instantly start laughing. Put on me. Okay. <laughs> Try it on me. Okay. Here it goes. And... A bit. <laughs> I don't understand. It was supposed to work. A, supposed to work a lot more better. better that certainly is strange. <laughs> Are you sure you know what to do with that? Of course I do. I don't get it. What is wrong with this thing? Seriously, I don't understand why it's not spring as much as I thought. Well, problems can be so frustrating, but today we're learning that even when we don't understand, Jesus loves you. So even when you're frustrated and you don't get it, Jesus loves you. That's good to know. I mean, I, mean, I certainly can't understand how this thing is working. <laughs> this thing, try it. It works. It really does. The cat was just stuck. That's all. It doesn't spread. <laughs> oh, here. Let me try it on the kids now. Yeah. <laughs> oh, hey, wait. Can I try it on you, please, first? Seriously. Seriously. 
Okay, hold on. Let me get this cat one. Now I can spread. Are you okay? But it's funny. This is funny because he's so weird. He's so great for this game. <laughs> Quiet down and calm down. <laughs> so weird. <laughs> okay then. <laughs> That's some really neat stuff. You should you should try the laughing lion. Okay, that's easy. Oh I will. I will make sure I will make it out. I didn't Did we understand first of what Dr. Paz was talking about? Did, did, you, did you understand that he was going to laugh like that? Yeah. Yeah? Well, I didn't understand that first, which reminds me of today's Bible story. If we can call for Pastor Joe on the count of three to come up and tell us our Bible story. One, two, three. Good morning. Good morning, Pastor oh. Joe. Oh, yes. Thank you. That was good. You're awake this morning. What are you doing? Jesus had just picked up a towel and had poured some water into a basin when Peter asked him, what are you doing? Jesus was getting ready to wash Peter's feet. That's why Peter asked, what are you doing? See, back in Jesus' time, some people, rich people, got from place to place by riding on a horse. People who weren't rich enough to have a horse, but still had some money, maybe rode on donkeys. But most people walked every place they went. And around Jerusalem in the country of Palestine, the roads were dirt, and it's hot over there, and it's dry, and so the roads were dusty. And when people would walk in their sandals, how do you suppose their feet got? Dirty. Dirty. Yeah. Any of you wear sandals? Sometimes? Yeah. yeah. You go to the beach with sandals, and then you take them off, and you walk in the sand, and then you get your feet wet, and what gets stuck between your toes? Yeah, and dirt. Yuck. And if you've been walking all day on dirt roads, your feet get dirty and smelly. Yeah. And so when people would go to visit somebody at their house, they like to get their feet cleaned. And so very often there would be a little basin at the door where they could put their feet. And if the host was really a good host, the host would have someone wash their feet. And when they got their feet washed, they felt clean and refreshed. Usually, that was a servant's job to do. 
So when Jesus went to wash Peter's feet, Peter said, No, no, Jesus, you don't do that. Let's call for a servant to come over and do that job. And Jesus said, Peter, you don't understand. In order to show how much I love you, it's important that I be your servant. I need to wash your feet. And if you don't let me wash your feet, then you're not going to be able to receive my love. And Peter says, oh, I want to have your love wash all of me. And Jesus said, no, Peter, just your feet. That's all I'm going to wash. But I want you to wash each other's feet as well because I want you to show my love for you to one another and to everyone. And so it's important that you learn to wash one another's feet as well. Peter didn't understand at first but then when Jesus showed Peter his love, Peter understood. And that's what our lesson is today. We are sharing Jesus' love by giving it away. Who remembers what our mission is? I'm looking for a quiet hand. Orange shirt, right there. To give children clean water, but it's not Africa. Let's think of a... India. India. Everyone, what is it? India. India, excellent. It's okay. It's okay if we get mixed up. So we are going to... Get ready to collect our donations for the children in India. The kids in India have to walk, walk a long way and wait in long lines to finally get water. And then they have to walk all the way back home. And they have to hope that that water that they got isn't dirty water that will make them sick. They also, you know how sometimes either your mom or dad or grandparents or neighbors or even teachers say that you have to wash your hands before you eat, touch your food? Yeah. yeah, the kids don't have clean water to wash their hands before they can touch their food. So we want to help give them lots of clean water. When you're out at snack time, over by the picnic tables, I have three posters up there. And I want you to look at the posters. Those posters that are back there, you'll see them when you go out to snack, are three children from India who need clean water. And one of the children is Shivani. Shivani is one of our friends through Operation Kid to Kid that needs clean water. So when you're out there at snack time, I want you to look. And maybe you can ask a leader to read what Shivani says about how she lives. So when you bring a handful of coins, Shivani will not only get clean drinking water, but she also could get clean water to wash her hands. So let's see if we can get our glass overflowing, because it's almost there. So can I have the green group? Make sure you form one line.
guys are so amazing that we're starting to run out of balloons. So if we are out of balloons, then you can imaginary pop balloons into the glass, okay? So now, can I have the yellow group? Yes, Miss Patty, we went through all the balloons. Yes, we have. We have amazing kids. We'll continue once all yellow group is sitting down and it's quiet with all the groups. Okay, now we get the orange group. Remember, if we run out, use imaginary balloons. Imaginary balloons. Pop them in. Pop in the imaginary balloons. Uh, let's not touch the sets. Let's not touch the sets. We're only supposed to put it in our balloons and then go sit back down. Our glass. If we didn't, if we didn't run out of balloons, this glass would be overflowing. You are so super. How many people had to put in pretend balloons? Pretty much all of orange. So that means we already have one filled glass and that means tomorrow we're going to be starting on our second glass. You guys are all amazing. So, to celebrate your amazing work, I think we should sing our theme song. Yes. So everyone, stand up, stretch out, wiggle about.
Before we begin our day, let's bow our head for a quick prayer. Dear God, thank you for all of us being here today. And help us learn that even when we don't understand, Jesus will lo always love us. Be with us with your one-of-a-kind love. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. When I call your group, your followers, your leader, to your first adventure, and of course, be on the lookout for Cooper. He will be visiting you.